It's not easy to find the final resting spot of one of the most decorated indigenous soldiers in Canadian history. Francis Pegamagabo the Sniper would have likely wanted it that way. Where there is no doubt is that he would have found this quiet corner of the Wasoxing First Nation near Perry Sound peaceful, free from the horrors of war and politics of a country that all but forgot what he did. I would say his story may have been sleeping. It was a story that was, you know, told um, in quiet settings uh, within his family or from amongst community members. He was known as Peggy to his fellow soldiers and a terror to the enemy. During some of the most horrific battles of the First World War, some Ypres, Passchendaele, he would sneak into no man's land and wait. His patience led him to being credited with 378 kills and over 300 enemy captured. And after four years on the front lines, he was discharged with $898.68 in pay. He was happy to return to the shores of Georgian Bay, but like most indigenous veterans, he had hoped for a newfound respect. Instead, it was more of the same, poverty and persecution. And the country he fought and bled for still wouldn't grant him citizenship. They were trying to prove themselves as equals, not to assimilate, but to prove themselves as equals as indigenous men, as indigenous Canadians. Pegamagabo never did stop fighting, working tirelessly to get more autonomy for band councils, until he died in 1952, he dedicated his life fighting for Indigenous rights. Of course, he returned a, a decorated military hero, but it was that work he did at community levels, at organizational levels, at uh, you know being a warrior for the rights, for the language, for the culture of his people. Uh, those are the active contributions that I think we most know him for. In Wasoxing today, the name Francis Pegamagabo is revered in both Ojibwe and English. He was one of 39 Canadian soldiers awarded the military medal and two bars for bravery. But it took until 2016 before he was immortalized in bronze, strong and defiant, on the shores of Georgian Bay. A hero given his due. Mike Trollet, Global News, Parry Sound, Ontario.